Hi, I'm James. And I'm Laurent. And we're in Noumea, New Caledonia. Most of you have probably never heard of New Caledonia. It's a tropical island about halfway between Australia and Fiji. And it has the second largest barrier reef in the world after that of Australia. And it has amazing turquoise blue water. And it just so happens that New Caledonia is a French territory. And the capital city is called Noumea and it is like a little Paris in the tropic. Yeah, and in this video we're going to take you to our top 10 favorite spots in Noumea. So first on our list is Ons Vata. Ons Vata is the main beach of Noumea and really the main tourist attraction. Ons Vata is a beautiful curved beach with white sand and coconut trees right in the middle of the city. It's a great place for water sports like windsurfing, paddleboarding and kitesurfing. There are lots of restaurants to choose from at Ons Vata, not only French cuisine but also all types of different ethnic styles. Living in Chicago, we don't have the opportunity to eat outside all the time and the fact that you can do it year round in Noumea feels like a paradise to us. And the vegetation in Noumea is so lush. Yeah, if you walk around wherever you look, there are beautiful tropical flowers in bloom and bushes. It really feels like paradise, those flowers are so beautiful and so colorful. Second on our list is Duck Island, or Ilo Canard in French. Duck Island is a small island just half a mile from Ons Vata. And to go there you can take a taxi boat from Ons Vata. The taxis run every 15 minutes so you can come and go whenever you want throughout the day. Yeah, it's a lot more practical than another island called Faramede because at Faramede there's only one boat that leaves in the morning and comes back in the evening and once you go there you're kind of stuck there all day. Duck Island is a great place to lay on the beach and do nothing. It's also an amazing destination for snorkeling. There's no need to scuba dive there to see all the tropical fish. There's an underwater path that is very well marked. And you can see the coral reef and all the fish, including clownfish, which are by far our favorite. They are so much fun to watch. <laughs> I love those. Your chances of seeing a turtle at Duck Island are almost 100%. They are there all the time searching for food in the coral reef and they're just so majestic to watch. Third on our list is the Noumea Aquarium, or Aquarium des Lagons in French. New Caledonia has the second largest barrier reef after Australia. So if you don't want to snorkel yourself, but you still want to see tropical fish, then the aquarium is a great place to go to. It's a small aquarium, but it's very well designed, and everybody we know who's been there has absolutely loved it. And you'll probably love it too, even if you've visited other bigger aquariums before. One of our favorite parts in the aquarium was the huge tank with all those sharks. It was just very impressive. And the other tank with the sea turtles. Those were really cool. The section with coral that glow in the dark was also a really interesting one. But I think our favorite one was the humpback turret fish. It's yeah. a small fish that's shaped like a pyramid and is just so funny to watch. So cool. At the Numi Aquarium, you'll find a mix of traditional tropical fish and also species you've never seen anywhere else. And fourth on our list is the Jean-Marie Gibaou Cultural Center. It is the most impressive monument to visit in Noumea. We only put it fourth on our list because it's located five miles from the core downtown of Noumea and getting there if you don't have a car is a bit cumbersome. And it's also not necessarily what most tourists might want to see when they go visit a tropical island. But it's really an architectural wonder. It was designed by famous Italian architect Renzo Piano. So it's a modern building, but it was inspired by the traditional Kanak huts. Uh, Kanaks are the indigenous people of New Caledonia. Inside, the permanent collection displays art and handicrafts not only from New Caledonia, but also from all the different cultures of the South Pacific. There's Aboriginal art from Australia and Maori art from New Zealand, and then art from all the different islands of Melanesia and Polynesia.
Even if you don't like tribal art, the building alone is so spectacular, and the gardens as well are worth the visit. It's amazing to think that a small island like New Caledonia could have such a premier architectural landmark. So fifth on our list is Lemon Bay. Or Bay de Citron in French. Lemon Bay is right next to Ansvata and is the other big beach in Noumea. It also has plenty of restaurants to choose from. Just like Ansvata, Lemon Bay has plenty of restaurants where you can eat outside. And it has our favorite ice cream shop in the whole wide world, Amarino. I love all the flavors you can get there. And because Lemon Bay is facing straight west, it's also the best spot to watch the sunset on the lagoon. And after sunset is really when Lemon Bay becomes animated with all the bars and restaurants. Sixth on our list is Wentoro. So New Caledonia is a long mountain range and Noumea is a fairly hilly city. But the most famous hill of all in Noumea is Wentoro. This is the spot where you can get the best views of the city. It overlooks the whole city and from the top of the hill you have beautiful views on all the different bays from every direction. And because of its strategic location, there's still a military base on top of the hill. There are lots of ways to get up Wentoro, but it's small enough that you can hike up there. And people in Noumea are pretty outdoorsy, and on your way up there, you're gonna see plenty of runners and bikers uh, climbing the hill. And because it's a regional park, there are also lots of hiking trails in the forest. Seventh on our list is the Moselle City Market. Right downtown is the Quai Moselle, and this is where the city market is located. The market takes place every day, and there's a building for every different type of food. But our favorite one was the fish building. Since New Caledonia is a tropical island, fish is the heart of the New Caledonian cuisine. And besides the fish building, there's also the meat building. You can find all kind of French charcuterie. There's also a produce building with both western and tropical fruits and veggies. It's a very lively market, and it just has a great local feel. Eighth on our list is Coconut Square. A Place des Cocotiers in French. Coconut Square is the main square in downtown Noumea. It's where you can find City Hall and the City Museum. It's a very lush square, not only with coconut trees, but also other tropical trees and bushes. And it's very animated on weekends, but a lot quieter throughout the week. There's a little music pavilion in the middle of the square where they sometimes hold open air concerts. And if you go to Coconut Square, you should also explore the rest of downtown and just walk all the adjacent streets. It's cool to see the old colonial buildings such as the Bernheim Library. And a couple of blocks away from Coconut Square, you can see these amazing banyan trees. Their roots seem to be even bigger than the tree itself. I love watching those trees, they're just so cool. on our list is the Maritime Museum. And the Maritime Museum is located right next to the ferry dock where all the cruise ships dock for the day. It's a small museum, but it's a great activity on a rainy day. It's also a great place to visit with young kids. Yeah, it has lots of 3D models of tall ships and cargo ships. It's actually really cool. And it's also got an exhibit about explorers who discovered all the islands of the South Pacific. Including La Perouse, who was the first European to explore the island. And it has artifacts of all the goods that were being traded with mainland France, such as silverware and potteries. Because New Caledonia is an island, everything that's related to the sea is uh, central to the island. Number 10 on our list is the Noumea Zoo. We put the zoo last on our list because it's also out of the way and not within walking distance from the core downtown. But it's a really nice zoo, especially if you like birds. Tropical birds are really the main reason to go visit the zoo. The zoo is especially known for its kagus. It's a bird that is only found in New Caledonia. If you want to see kagus in the wild, you're going to have to drive an hour outside of Noumea to the Blue River Park. But the Noumea Zoo allows you to see kagus roaming freely. And the zoo also has lots of parrots, not just from New Caledonia, but from the entire South Pacific. And even if you're not interested in birds, the zoo is nested in a beautiful park with a variety of different trails. 
It will make you discover all the indigenous trees in New Caledonia. And outside of birds, the zoo also has monkeys and lemurs, and also ostriches, which I guess technically is a bird, but kind of a, a big bird that kids will be happy to play with. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and put your comments in the comment section below. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, we are going to put a link right here. If you want to get notifications about our next video, click the little bell. And if you want to watch our next video, we're going to put one right here and another one right there. Bye. Bye.